Hello and welcome to Quick Quote Small Works Price and Invoicing from Pricelinks. Quick Quote can be used for pricing up small jobs, day work control, reactive maintenance. When you've done your costing on the system, you can produce a, a quotation with it or invoice it off when you're ready. So to get started, let's create a new job. When the screen comes up, you can see we can either enter a a job number manually or allow it to automatically increment the number for us. If I select a client, you can see it comes up with a, a contract plan. Here we've got a seven standard seven day contract, but if we want we can change that to a different one, such so as um, emergency one hour call out. It's just a default and the contract plans will hold default rates for you for different um, labor rates obviously it's going to cost more for an emergency call out than it is a standard seven day markup etc those can be set in there if I select a, a site pop the site in there as well and uh, the sites also can have contract plans set against them so you could have different contract plans for different sites with the same customer we can set the response priority, um, started and required dates. We pop in a job site, uh, job type, sorry. So we'll call this one Small Works, and we'll put an engineer on the job. Uh, we we'll give this one to Barney, I think, and we can set the the status to active. If we wish, we can put in some notes for the job, which can be used for the invoice text later on, and we can also print off a worksheet if we like. So if I OK that, and then we'll go into the job. And this is where we carry out the, the work in the job. Um, along the top we can see some various tabs. So we've got material, labour, expenses, travel, totals, reports. So this is where we'll enter uh, various categories and then mark them up at the end. They're on the material page at the moment and what we see here is the as we add materials to the job they'll all list at the, on the top half of the screen here. The bottom half of the screen is really just a database search area and the, the far bottom are the different types of search criteria that we can enter to locate products. So we might put in um, manufacturers so um, for instance if I select MK and we can break these down further if we want. We can put in, say, Logic Plus for that one. Or another way of searching is to use a, uh, a product or commodity type. So we might select, say, wiring accessories and then go for uh, switch sockets. You can see we're just listing the switch sockets there. And if we um, want, we can do this without a manufacturer. So we'll then have them from all the different manufacturers' switch sockets in this case. We can clear those out. Uh, if we know the catalog code, we can just enter the code and it will bring the product straight up for us. Or if we've no idea what the code is and we've no idea who the manufacturer is, uh, we don't want to use the product type, so we can just put in the description and it will search on the uh, description field for us. By default, it will list in uh, manufacturer order, but if we want, we can get the system to order by cost, so we can find the, the best price for a particular item. By far the best way to enter your products is to use assemblies. These assemblies and kits you can build up very quickly and easy as you're working with the system. And I'll just give you an um, example of a, a couple of types of assemblies. So here if I select the um, MK2 gang switch socket surface mounted, you can see we've got a switch socket in there, a couple of fixings and a, a box. So I'll just pop a few of those on the job. Enter those in because it's multiplied the quantities up for us. Uh, the, the other type of assembly we can add in is a linear assembly. So I'll select the uh, uh, trunking run here, and what we're saying here is that for every meter of uh, trunking, we're going to pick up a third of a coupler, assuming that the trunking comes in three meter lengths, and a meter of cable and some fixings. So if I put in, say, 18 meter run there. When we add that on, it will multiply the quantities up for us by 18. And you'll notice that with the coupler, um, it knows we can't get a part of a coupler, so it's round up to the nearest whole number. 
So we can carry on adding materials if we want, we can edit them, um, we can edit the quantities, discounts, costs, etc. Uh, let's put in a bit of material. So we put buy on the job, so he's come up by default, but if we want we can select um, different types of materials, approved electrician or subcontractor, name them however you want. We're using a contract rate, but you could use time, time and a half, other rates that you might want to apply. And then um, let's put in a, a start time for him. Say so started at eight o'clock, and uh, he went on till um, let's see, went on till lunch time, and that's um, calculate that out at five hours for us. And we will just add that to the job. So it adds it all onto the job now. If we'd wanted, we could have added some travel costs, would, and that would have built, in this case, JRB travel costs into the the labour rate or we could just put a distance to site and a mileage rate and that will build that into the labour rate. If we want to display the um, the, the labour separately, sorry the, the travel separately then we can select the travel tab at the top here and just put in a description, a rate and distance and then when we print off we'll have the option to display it separately. So I'll just go back to the labour here. Assuming um, that Barney had just given us a week's worth of timesheets. We can, if we want, at this stage, uh, just call up our search and um, go and pick a different job and um, add add some labour to Barney for that job. And then, when we're finished, come back to the the job we were on, or just move to another job, add labour for that one. The same with materials. Put materials into other jobs. Okay, so that's just adding the delay run. We we can add a bit more on if we want. So maybe if Fred was with him, we could add Fred on as well. Um, expenses, just any old description you want to put in there. So if you had to add some plant, we could put in the plant there. Give it a quantity. Cost distributed just allows us to distribute over the material or labour or whatever. So if I want to just put it against the labour element. And that's fine. We'll move on to the totals now. Uh, oh, we've not got a markup in there, so we'll put a markup in to start off with. And you can see as we put the markup in there, will work out the profit for us. The other way to do this is to put in the amount rather than a percentage. So if I want, say, £25 markup on that, then that will work it back and uh, alter the, the markup for us. In okay, case so if we, as we go down there, we can see that we can have different uh, markups, markups against different material types. These can all be set up in the defaults for us. Um, not got any separate travel costs on there, so we've got a subtotal. We can add uh, an additional overall percentage to that if we want. And if we want, we can also put in, ad and put in an ad hoc description and uh, a cost there which can display for us. Uh, so the total job there is coming out at um, 33622. If we want, we can go up to set totals and just put in a uh, a price that we want for the job. And so if we put in 375 there, and it'll work all the um, the profit and and margins back for us. Okay, so quite flexible on the on the marking up, so you can play about and use it as a what if situation. Mark it up and down, see what you feel. We move on to the reporting now and on the reporting you can see that we've got management reports which will give us a printout of everything we've added onto the job uh, material listed so we can pull out consolidated material lists for the job so if we want to get um, fax a material list over or email a material list over to uh, a wholesaler see if we can get some better preps on the job or send him um, an order <coughs> excuse me then we can do that if we've just been pricing up a job, we can print off a quotation, or if this is a, a finished job, we can produce an invoice. Quite a lot of options on the invoicing. Um, anything from non-itemized, which would just be our headers and the, 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 the total for the job. And then we've got um, invoice totals only, which would be our headers, and then the totals for the 
various uh, labour material expenses and travel elements totals of those only right the way through to a fully itemised listing uh, so we'll run this one off and it will give us a, a fully itemised list of everything on the job um, broken down for us so all the labour and all the materials expenses travel and then we've got on there the reports can be output to the screen printer file or emailed off if you email it off by default it will put it into PDF format but you can put it to a different format if you want um, all your presentation reports can carry um, your company logo or your letterhead so if I run this one and uh, it comes up um, we can put in our terms and when it's due etc a uh, bit of a description for the the invoice if we want so uh, I'm trying to remember what we put in there now um, install additional sockets which is uh, what we put on the job there okay so we'll add that on as our description then we run the report you can see this particular report is um, got our logo up there it's actually our company letterhead so it's got a bit down the bottom as well for our address and it's just overlaid that onto the invoice um, and then there's our description of the job there and the materials we added to the job with the quantities and the, the selling price there because we asked for it uh, fully itemized it's got all the materials on there and it's also got all the labor it's just the one line for Barney but if we'd if he'd been working on the the job for a, a number of days or weeks then it would list them all out for us and our subtotals and the VAT added in there so quite a flexible little program not an awful lot of money if you would like to know more about the application or see more details on it then pop over to our website at uh, pricelinks.co.uk and uh, have a look at a few more details there. Thanks very much for your time.